Hi everybody, we are here in the FabLab Barcelona and today we will see how to operate the vinyl cutter. We need the machine itself. Here we have a Roland Cam 1, a computer with the design and also the material that is the vinyl cutter. We will load the roll. We have this little accessory here that helps us to fix the roll and this allows you to put the material from the back. There's a big line here and then three more small lines. So the first wheel should be inside this line, okay? And then the second wheel, it should be or here, or here, or here. Machine will understand that our size of the material, working area, is the distance between these two wheels. When it's done, we can put the label up, and now the material is loaded. There's a power button here, so we press it, and we keep it pressed for a second. We select the roll, and we press enter. And now we will detect which are the size of the, our working area. We have to adjust the tool, we unscrew this one and also we take it out and you can see as much we screw, more we can see the tip. So how do we know how basically deep should be the tool? If we have a piece of the same material that we want to cut, put it down as flat we can, okay, and create a line. And then we will know if we set it correctly, if we basically cut it, okay, but we didn't go through the paper. Put it back until basically this little flap here, it touched this thing and then we spread and we tighten it. We press menu twice, okay, and then we enter in this setup menu. And if we go down, we go to conditions. In the conditions, we go to the right and we have the force and we have the speed, okay. This, it will depend a lot of the, um, how hard is the material that we are cutting. If we want to change it, we can basically press right again, and then we can go move up or down, okay? And then as soon as it's set up, we can move to the speed. Speed is centimeters per second, and again, a good velocity is between 18 and 20. Here, you can experiment a lot, but what I will say is like, as much detail your design have, lower in velocity or less speed you have to put. When we have this, we press menu twice and we come back here. Okay, and we are ready to do the first test. Okay, once we set up the um, parameters and also the length and everything, we will do the first test before send our job. This is something that we usually do in all the machines, even if it's you are an expert and you know perfectly how to do it. So it's always recommended to do a, a test, okay? For that, this machine makes our life easy and it has a button here. So if we press this button, it will go to the zero zero and it will basically create a drawing like this. I will press it and here another trick. If you press it like this, it's not gonna do anything. So you have to basically press and hold it for a second. And now we see it. And that's it. Now I don't know if you can see it, but there's something similar to this. Okay, it's basically a circle and square, okay? And the theory is that, and a good test, if it's like this and you didn't go through the paper, you set it properly. After have everything ready, let's prepare the file for cutting. And for that, we will, in that case, uh, use a proprietary software that is Cut Studio. It comes with the, with the machine, uh, and Roland design it. And when we open it, we see like an interface like this. Okay, we can zoom in and zoom out. And by default, there's a working area. This doesn't necessarily have to be the ones that uh, we set up, okay? So first we will basically translate the data or the size, the working area or the size of the, the, the file that is here to to our software. For that, how do we do? We go to File, we go to Cutting Setup, okay? And then make sure that we have selected the proper um, uh, type of machine, okay? In that case, is the Roland GX24, and we go to Properties. And then on Properties, we have two ways to do it. So we can put it manually, uh, because uh, it's indicated in the, in the screen, or we can say get from the machine. Uh, if we click on get from the machine, automatically it changes and adapts the width of, uh, of 
basically the, the material that we load. Since we see that basically change correctly, we say OK, and then OK. And basically the canvas or the working area here on the software basically changes. Now it's like this, now we have two options. We can basically load our designs, make it in uh, SVGs or um, uh, DXF, or, um, oh well, we can load our vector, uh, vector designs. Or here, just for the test, I will use uh, the tools that comes with the, with, the pro, with the software. So in that case, I will just do something just to see how is the workflow. So I will type here, hello, as a basically hello world. And then we can place it. Our zero zero is in the, in the lower um, left corner. Uh, and then we have some modified tools, as for example, this one. Even if we want to make sure that we know which size is the object that we want to cut, so we can go to object and we can say uh, proper, no, in the format, and we can go to properties, okay, and here we also have like the, um, the wait, 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 in the size and shape, we have the overall uh, shape, size of the, of the shape. And here we can control actually everything and we can rescale if we want and if it's necessary, okay? In that case, it's okay. Uh, and now the only thing I will do, and it's a recommendation, it's I will basically draw a rectangle around the object because then we will have both the positive and the negative. And the negative. We will have the letters, hello, and also the, the negative part, if we want to use it for somehow. Once we have it, we send it to cut. And for that, we go to file, and then we press the button cut. Okay? So we press it, it pops this menu to make sure that everything is aligned, and if it's okay, so we send to okay to the machine. Hello, and now I will use the and that's it. <laughs>